Hola, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in Guatemala. I'm at 10,000 feet above sea level. Some people ask me, what is travel as a political act? Here's an example. I've traveled to the highlands of Guatemala and I'm thinking about what I'm seeing. For instance, has it ever occurred to you that the two most high elevation countries in our hemisphere are also the two most indigenous countries and the two poorest countries, Bolivia and right here, Guatemala? Why might that be? Well, it might be because the powerful people who came in, the conquistadors, or the international corporations, or the landed big city elite, took the good land, and they drove the indigenous people to the high country. They left the high country for the people who were here first. And what you get is rocky soil. This is what the indigenous people of Guatemala are left to farm. And when you think about cash cropping. That means people got money and power, they get the good land. Sugar cane, coffee, palm oil. They'll tell these people who lived here first, literally, we'll negotiate with you or we can negotiate with your widow. And what ends up is pretty poor people on pretty bad soil. And that is structural poverty. And that is travel as a political act. Happy travels. Thoughtful travels.